हाय फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेजेस फॉर सिविल इंजीनियरिंग स्टूडेंट्स चैनल आफ्टर अ लॉन्ग गैप आई एम अपलोडिंग ए वीडियो द टाइटल ऑफ दिस वीडियो इज डिजाइन ऑफ टू वे स्लैब इन वन मिनट ओके दिस इज द माय टाइटल द सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ दिस वीडियो इज हाउ टू यूटिलाइज दिस प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेजेस टू सॉल्व द कॉम्प्लेक्स कैलकुलेशंस and a repetitive calculations in civil engineering point of view okay so i, I have taken an example the two way slab design even though the two way slab design is very easy but it requires lot of time and a lot of effect effort and also will uh, sometimes the students may miss uh, may calculate wrong values okay especially to find the area of the steel and spacing and all this sometimes they will uh, they will miscalculate and they will get the wrong results okay again uh, uh, whatever we are calculating manually that manual calculations is not generalized here generalized means you can give any number of uh, uh, let us say grade of concrete if you give 20 grade 25 grade 35 grade then you will get the results similarly if you give the input parameters regarding grade of steel if you give a 415 or 500 grade of steel then automatically you will get our desired answers this is called generalized similarly for all other parameters even length in x shorter direction and clear span in longer direction floor load uh, and floor finished load and uh, live load and all these things okay all these things if you do manually every time we have to change uh, we have to change the particular we have to change uh, the our uh, some parameters so in order to contract this problem just you write one generalized code code in any other programming languages but I, uh, my preference is to matlab those uh, this matlab is very easy to use even new five students with a minimum basic knowledge of programming languages we can use this matlab very effectively okay i already mentioned there are three parts in matlab one is just write code and second one is gui that is graphical user interface and third one is simulink okay already i have explained what is gui in my previous videos those who are interest they can see my uh, the previous videos okay this is only just to demonstrate this is for just demonstration okay if you practice then automatically you, you will get what is what okay okay let us start first you can see this is you can see this is the input that is the input means length length in shorter direction and length in longer di longer span direction meters and the input the live load and floor finish load okay and the grade of concrete and uh, enter the grade of concrete and this is the aspect ratio ly by lx okay then less than or equal to 2 then we'll get the design the slab is designed for two way you have to do okay and if not the slab is designed for one way slab okay then you have to find the thickness you can see here the thickness of slab and the second third one is effective span and the loads and the design moments and shear forces see here most important thing is design moments and shear forces for that uh, to to calculate the uh, uh, bending moments in slabs the code has given some uh, uh, referred has given some uh, uh, coefficients that is alpha x alpha y you can see here from table number 27 is 456 okay 2000 you have to find that alpha x that coefficients of the bending moments so it is very easy but always will not get the aspect ratio or aspect ratio that is ly by lx for the same point so we have to do the interpolation perhaps everybody knows what is interpolation so in order to make easy then i have written you can see i have written all Okay, I have written all the values with the, with interpolation for different limits. 
okay from table 27 in IS 456-2000 then finally we will calculate MUX that is ultimate movement in X direction and similarly in Y direction so then minimum depth required we have to check whether the depth is sufficient or not so you can see here the depth provided depth is adequate provided depth is not sufficient and similarly reinforcement in this direction and y direction a spacing and edge strip reinforcement in edge strip and torsion reinforcement okay torsion reinforcement okay this is the simple uh, 202 lines code okay we don't require to fear okay, it is very easy once you habituated to write codes then you can uh, you can uh, write any number of codes without any fear okay this is very easy programming language see you can see here then after you can run the uh, this this code by you can press okay this green arrow button then just to press then the change folder then the change folder then then enter the length in shorter cleared span enter the length in cl uh, shorter cleared span that is 3.5 meters similarly enter the length in longer span longer span is uh, let us say 5 meters and the live load is 3 meters for normal residential buildings and floor load is as usual 1 kilonewton per meter square grade of concrete is 20 and grade of steel is 415 okay grade up is 415 then you'll get then okay minimum depth required okay minimum depth is adequate okay no problem depth is sufficient then enter the diameter of the main bar that is means uh, I am uh, I am taking the 8 mm okay then enter the diameter of distribution reinforcement in y direction that is also I am taking uh, 8 you can see here uh, uh, 8 okay and main, di main diameter main bar diameter in x, di x direction is main reinforcement is a diameter of the spacing we can see here provide the spacing of reinforcement in x direction it is 139 you can take 140 mm okay, you can take more than that okay then enter similarly you can see here in y direction also obviously the spacing is more as compared to uh, main direction the distribution reinforcement spacing is somewhat more that is 271 you can use 280 okay 280 center to center then you can see here you can see here okay, you can see here uh, uh, reinforcement in edge strip we can do we have we have to provide the reinforcement in edge strip that is also I'm taking 8 mm you can see here at the corner uh, you can see here at strip spacing of the strip is 279 we can provide 280 mm center to center okay center to center in the edge strip okay at the corner okay torsion reinforcement the corner both edges are discontinuous area of the reinforcement each layer at okay you can see area of this area of the this uh, torsion reinforcement means is 135 mm square distance over which the reinforcement is provided is 725 the edges you have to provide that reinforcement is 725 then enter the die of, die of uh, uh, torsion reinforcement and taking the 8 mm so you can see provide the reinforcement at all corners in four layers that is diameter of the tor torsion is uh, 8 and the spacing of the torsion is 372 but the maximum spacing is 450 okay we can provide the center to center distance is 372 this is a torsion reinforcement perhaps everybody knows what is torsion re reinforcement okay this is the basic about things we can get we can solve these kind of problems in a very easy way okay if you have any doubts please uh, comment in the comment box and if you want this code you uh, please give me uh, uh, paste your email in comment box then definitely i will send to your mail this code okay anyway if you have any doubts please comment in the comment box Anyway, thank you for Anyway, thank you for watching this video. Thank you.